Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. Nice to see you. Nice to be back here in familiar surroundings. Um, I think the last shave I done was at the hotel, uh, my hotel room in London. A travel shave, but it's always nice to come back home, your familiar surroundings and to your own home. Um, well, it's good to be away. It's nice to be back. So I hope you're having a good week and I hope you're having some fantastic shaves. Uh, so what are we using today? Well, today I wanted to use some things I've been sent recently, so um, I wanted to try this soap because uh, I really like the scent of it. Uh, this is Taconic Shave and this is Excalibur Shaving Soap. Comes in this nice tin um, and here's the soap. Oh, there's no soap. Uh, that's because I've, <laughs> I've got it in the Kevy Shaves bowl. Um, I have it blooming. There's the soap there. Just put a little bit of water on it because it's a it's a melt and pour soap, so it's very hard. So just to kind of loosen it off. But this soap, um, to me, it has a nice cologne type scent. But to me, it smells like Nivea on steroids. Which uh, you like the smell of the Nivea aftershave balm and stuff like that. That's what this smells like, but stronger. To my nose anyway. Very nice, very nice cologne type scent. A little bit of uh, citrus in there. Here's the tin. Uh, Taconic Shave. Handcrafted in New York's Hudson Valley. So made in the USA. And for anyone that wants to see, here is the ingredients. And you can pause the video there and have a look. And there's a little bit of reading that you can read if you want to yeah i like their soaps they, there's nothing fancy about them but they just work they're just good soaps good all out performing soaps the razor for today um someone mentioned this in the last i think it was the last video or the video before um that i hadn't used this for a while so this is the option five razor uh, this came out a while back, a uh, company in Switzerland, I believe. I don't know if they're still going because someone said they contacted them and they had had a response from their website. But here it's here and what you do is there's two buttons on each side. So you push the buttons in and it releases the head like that. And the blade I'm going to use in that is the same blade I used for the last shave, which is the Permasharp stainless. So here's the head. This fits on like that. Like so. There's the blade in there. And then fits into this. And you just click it in place and it's um there's no overhang to worry about. And the blade there is aligned perfectly. This is um, it's quite a mild razor, I wouldn't say it's aggressive in any way, but it's just very, very nice, gives a nice shave. And you would think this would be slippy, but there's some kind of coating on this that makes it not slippy, <laughs> even with water on it. Uh, the brush for today, again, from Super Safety Razors, this is the Parker Synthetic. Uh, this is a lovely brush. Again, the Parker brushes have fantastic weight to them. I don't know if it's due to this little bit on the bottom, but it's, uh, the weight in this brush is very good. It's synthetic, very soft. So I'm going to be using that. So what I'll do, I'll take this bloom water and I'll just apply it to my face as a little pre-shave. Look at that. Just from that little bit of water. Yeah, this soap is like Nivea on steroids. <laughs> it's just a nice scent, a nice cologne type scent. And if you've never tried doing this with a, a hard soap, you should do it. 
you should try it. Just put a little bit of water into the top of the puck. Just let it sit for five minutes. Take this water, look at that on my hands, and just, just use it as a base. Still working to the bristles, just a, a base to, to build your lather on. Okay, so there's the soap in the bowl. I shall soak the brush as it's in synthetic, it doesn't need to be soaked like a badger or bone brush. I'll just give it a flick, two flicks. And then what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to hold this puck in here because it's uh, spinning about. But as you can see the lather is starting to build. Just gathering the soap. So how's your week been? Did you have a, a nice Halloween? Dressing up. Clink, clink, clink. Goes the brush on the side of the bowl. <laughs> yeah, you have a nice Halloween. Did you get lots of uh, scares? <laughs> scares. <laughs> okay, look, there's uh, plenty of soap in there. There's enough in the brush. And we can always go back to the puck, so I'm just going to dip it under the tap and then start building the lather. on the face. So that's a uh, Halloween over with. What's next? I think it's, it's a Thanksgiving that's next um, in the States. Over here we have um, Bonfire night, which is on the 5th of November. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that brush. Yeah, which is bonfire night, which uh, celebrates Guy Fawkes trying to burn down the Houses of Parliament <laughs> in in London, but I'm trying to remember the year. <laughs> was, it, um, was it 13 something or was it 10 something? Or many, many years ago. That looks like a nice lather, not as uh, thick and creamy as my usual ones, but I'm happy with it. And as I said, we can always go back. To the puck if required. Okay, let's uh, just rinse the blade. Uh, option 5 razor. Taconic shave Excalibur. Very nice. Yeah, as I was saying, look, there's water on this, but it doesn't, it doesn't slip in the hand. There must be some kind of coating on it uh, with the Option 5 razor. Thank you for all the comments about the uh, the travel shave and my visit to the shaving shops in London. And what I plan to do is, I was thinking about the uh, the thing when in, in GOF Trumpers, you know, when the the the, the staff was saying, no, 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 our soaps haven't been reformulated. There's nothing wrong with them. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm planning on buying one because I, I guess I should have done that while I was there. Just bought a puck of soap, one of the hard pucks, and test it for myself. Just to see how it performs. Because as I've said previously, the only way to find out if something works for you is to try it yourself. That's a wonderful um, soap and razor and blade combination is fantastic. Really nice. Nice residual slickness. Okay, let me rinse it. I will come straight back. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Just painting the lather on for the second pass. This brush is very soft. Great weight in it. Holds the lather well, releases it well. I'm just going to go dip to under the tap, back to the puck. Just gathering a little bit more. Oh, quite a thirsty soap, this. As you can see, I dipped under the tap there and it's just exploded into a nice creamy lather. And the thing I like about these soaps from uh, Taconic, they just work. They're, um, they're probably overlooked by a lot of shavers, but I can highly recommend them because um, they're good slickness, they're easy to lather, they're not that expensive and there's a good selection to choose from so um, yeah check them out I'll put the link to super safety razors in the description and you can go and check them out okay pass number two with this uh, fantastic razor and blade and soap Yeah, I was going to do a, a Halloween shave. I had the great ideas, but I just ran out of time. I didn't have time to set things up for the way I wanted to do it. And, uh, As you can imagine, it would have been a, a production of epic proportions. <laughs> a cast of literally me. I've actually forgotten how good this razor shaves. As I say, it's quite mild. You don't see many of them about, actually. And, uh, someone commented on one of my videos on me using it that they'd contacted the company to try and buy one, but they hadn't got back to them. Oh, a little weeper there, or was it a little nick?
Yeah, so I'm, I'm not actually sure if they're still going. I may check the website and uh, before I put this video live, just to check that they are still operating in business. Okay, second pass. Great slickness. Let me rinse it, I'll come straight back. Okay, you are back for number three. And you can see it looks straight away. As soon as I start painting that on, it just <laughs> releases the lather. I love these Parker brushes. Again, a brush that's often overlooked, but the weight, the weight for me is the best thing about them. And balance. Again, just painting the lather on. You just want a, a film of slickness there. You don't have to have it too thick like in, because all the bristles have gone in the first two passes. So just something for the, the razor and clay to glide over. Okay, third pass. Very light pressure. Yeah, you can feel that blade, but I wouldn't say it's in uh, any way aggressive. It's very comfortable. Listen to that. Yeah, as I mentioned at the start, the good thing about this razor is that the blade is completely enclosed. Um, as you can see there, look, there's no overhang, so nothing to worry about um, around your ears and nose. Yeah, I don't see many people using these razors, but um, I really like it. I don't think it was that expensive either. Three passes done. Let's just have a little feel for the slickness. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay, uh, pickups. There's a little bit there. Not as many as I usually have. Yeah, the usual spot over here. Okay. 
My stash feels great. So again, a very light touch uh, for the pickups as There isn't really anything left there to... Yeah, that feels excellent. It's all just a bit here. This is becoming my new little trouble spot, but not for irritation, just for pickups. <laughs> I'm just kind of going in all directions just to hit the hairs that I've missed. There's one tiny little bit there. just a little bit under the chin but there's enough residual slickness there that's got it very nice to have a quick rinse Feels great. Okay, let me just uh, not waste any lather. I'll just uh, rub the rest of the soap into my face. Nivea on steroids, Taconic Shave Excalibur. Mmm, <laughs> very nice. And uh, I'll rinse it off with hot water, then cold water, and I'll see you for the post shave. Okay. Nice shave, no complaints. Okay, post shave. There's lemon witch hazel. Just a little splash of that. Mm. Nice. Okay, the aftershave I'm going to use is uh, just to go with a cologne type scent. Fine Platinum. Just a little bit of that. Um, yeah, just a touch. Oh. A little bit of burn. On the neck here, not much else. Yeah, it's nice, it's got a little bit of menthol in it. Very nice. And to put the protection back into my skin after dragging a piece of sharp metal across it <laughs> is uh, Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1 Aftershave Balm. I was uh, Steve Keir, the Suffolk Shaver, brought me this back from his recent holiday in the States. So, thank you Steve. Uh, this is good stuff. It's got a nice light scent. Comes with a little thing like that. It's quite a, a soft balm. That's probably way too much, as usual. <laughs> yep, but I'll just rub it in. It has a nice scent to it. It's quite a light scent, but it's uh, it's hard to describe what it is. It's uh, it's just nice. <laughs> it's not one particular thing. Maybe a little bit of uh, a kind of lemony scent to it. 
the good stuff and uh, in the States I think it's very very cheap. So there we have it. Ah, very nice. Yeah, very happy. Okay, let's go over what we've used. The razor for today, just to make it a little wipe, was the Option 5 razor. Non adjustable, no overhang, quite a mild razor, but very efficient, very good, really enjoyed it. Uh, the brush was the Parker Synthetic, again a great brush, great weight to it, very nice, nice handle, excellent. Uh, we bowl lathered, kind of, in the Kevin Shaves bowl, because the soap we used was the Taconic Shave Excalibur. Uh, there it is there. And here's the soap. I've just uh, taken it out of the bowl. So I'm just placed it up there. Stood it up and it's just drying out. Yeah, so very good soap. I, like I said in the shave, just uh, these soaps, they just work. They're just, there's no fancy bells or whistles about them, but they're easy to lather. They're good slickness. Scent's nice. Um, this particular one smells to me like Nivea on steroids. Yeah, um, I know there's no soap in there, but you, can, <laughs> but you can still smell the scent. Yeah, so very nice uh, Taconic shave. We then rub the lather in to our face, to our face, to my face, this face, and uh, rinsed off with hot and cold water. The post was Thayer's Lemon with Chisel fine platinum and finished off with the Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1 Aftershave Balm. And I'm going to just use one more thing. Taconic Shave Solid Cologne Excalibur. These are... Uh, I should have actually took them as part of the travel kit. You lift the lid off like that, push it up and it's just a solid stick which you can then just rub behind your ears and it just melts into the skin. Very nice. It smells just like the soap. Very good. Yeah, great for just throwing in your gym bag. Not that I go to the gym now. <laughs> the, the only gym I go and see is the, the one that works at McDonald's. Um, yeah, Jim. Yeah, he sometimes gives me free um, fries and stuff. Thanks, Jim. Uh, <laughs> okay, there we have it. A couple of little dots here, but nothing to worry about. Very good. I'm happy. Feels great. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Until the next time, I shall see you soon. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week, whatever you're doing. Have some great shaves, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.